Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for everyone who's subscribed so far. With the stay at home announcement from the government due to coronavirus, I'm still going to be bringing you content on how to improve your putting and short game. Hopefully to educate you as well to help improve your short game. So we've got our indoor putting studio. Let's have a look what we've got outside. chipping studio so in today's video what we're going to do is we're going to look at hitting three shots with each of my wedges to see which is the closest so when you've got a chance to practice whether it's on the garden or back when the courses are open what I want you to do is start to play three shots with different wedges okay to see which one suits the shot so first of all I'm going to come in with my 50 degree we're going to go with the tight list row v ones Not a bad start, nice and low as I'd expect with a 50. Again guys, what we're trying to do here is get the club that's right for this shot. So what I see a lot of times is people go down to the chipping green, they'll take the 56 or they'll take the 60 and just use the same club for every shot. So we can start to see which is the percentage play. That's the three with a 50 degree, so what we'll do now is we'll total up how many feet away from the hole that is. So unfortunately, unlike Mr Robinson, I've not been able to cut the grass yet, but we will have a nice fairway, a bit of semi-rough and a green by the end of the week. We've had some treatment on the garden, so I can't cut it until the weekend. But this is what we do. So, count how many feet we are away from the hole. Okay, so six feet. 4 feet and 3 feet, so we're 13 feet away from those 3 shots. Let's now give it a go with a 54. Okay guys, I'm now going 54, so again, a little bit more loft, so I'll have to make slightly longer backswing now, so let's see how this one goes. So again, give myself the same kind of lie. here I'm going a different bounce every time until I'm able to cut that in it will be a little bit hard but the main point of this drill is to get us hitting the different wedges we don't normally use and seeing how they fly. Pretty good. Okay guys so same drill again let's count how many feet away from the flag we are. And five. So the total with the 54 is a little bit closer and we're 9 feet away with those 3. So on average 3 feet away. Which is just inside what we did with the 50. Okay, so last up guys, we're going to go with the 50. So I've got anyway, so I've got the 3 golf balls, so let's go and see how this one does. So eight and a half, four and a half, which gives us 13, and then one gives us 14. So the 58 was the furthest away. That's what I would tend to see, but it is what most amateurs would use. So again, when you go down to the chipping green or in the garden, have a set distance, you know, and chip to the same point, see which is closest after you hit three balls. So again, it's a proper test of being able to get a good contact and see which one is the percentage shot. So give that a go guys, let me know how it goes. If you can get out in the garden, great. If not, when you're back and we're back out on the golf courses, let's give it a go out there on a proper green. This will be trimmed in, so I know James will comment and say his is better. But again, when this fairway's in, again, we can start to play some more shots. Thanks for watching guys, see you tomorrow.